What's up everyone, my name is Rachel, and yes, I am kind of sick right now. So the other day I woke up and I was sick, and I couldn't breathe, my throat hurt, and I, all I wanted to do was sleep. So I was inspired how to survive being sick. Even though this has probably do been done millions of times, I still decided I wanted to make this for you. The first thing you should do whenever you are sick is to make sure you get lots of sleep. I believe that I am sick solely because I have gotten a lack of sleep during finals week and I just think that I have been overrun. Just putting that out there. But I had softball until 7.30 every night and then I had to study for finals and then I was up till like really late studying for finals and it all just really messed with me, I think. Getting those few extra hours of sleep really helps rejuvenate your body and your mind and your soul and it will make you feel a hundred times better. The next thing that you should do is make sure that you always have tissues circling around your house. I've got my handy dandy box of tissues right here. Tissues are absolutely a necessity when it comes down to being sick because you're blowing your nose, you're always sneezing, and you never know when you're going to sneeze or how bad it'll be. Oh no. What? But I truly recommend having a box in each room or area that you enter. And if you're out of tissues, make sure you go make someone to go buy those because, uh, duh, you're sick and you shouldn't be going out anyway. Being lazy is 100% okay when you're sick. Ooh. The third thing I like to do whenever I am sick is to eat lots of soup. I honestly don't really eat lots of soup when I'm sick normally, but the past two days I had baked potato soup and then chicken noodle soup and honestly I felt so good. And it's not like medicine really, but like if you don't want to take medicine, you might as well just eat some chicken soup. The fourth thing I like to do is to drink plenty of water. Probably really dehydrated and if you're like me you had two sodas when you didn't really realize that you were sick and then later that day you're like I can't breathe and you were dehydrated. If your cold is anything like how mine is, then your throat has been hurting since day one that you found out you were sick. I mean, I, I, I guess it could be from screaming for like three hours at a hockey game, but that's besides the point. Besides that though, drinking water, even if it's painful whenever your throat is sore, it's still really good to do because you're helping to fix your body and recover from whatever illness is plaguing you. Unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. The fifth thing I like to do is always wear comfortable clothes. And yes, it looks like I'm kind of dressed up right now, but honestly, this shirt is like my favorite thing in the entire world, and it's 90 degrees outside, and I don't care. But in the early stages of my sickness, <laughs> that sounds so bad. In the early stages of my sickness, I was having hot and cold flashes constantly. So I was either really, really cold and I had like 10 blankets around me, or I was really hot and I had like five fans. So definitely be prepared with fuzzy blankets or lots of fans because you never know how you're gonna feel. And honestly, you wanna make sure you have like shorts or pajama pants or anything that's really gonna help you whenever you're sick. The sixth step that I like to do whenever I'm sick is to take super long and hot showers. Whenever I take showers, it just seems like it helps clear up my sinuses and I can finally breathe for a few seconds and it just feels so great. I took like a 30 minute shower before I filmed this and I feel amazing. And it fixes most of my problems, except for my hearing. Whenever I'm sick, I lose my hearing. Like I get so clogged up that I can't hear anything. Does that happen to you guys too? Because I honestly have no idea how loud I'm talking. Yeah, that's weird. And the seventh and best thing that you can do whenever you're sick is to entertain yourself. You can read a book or watch some YouTube videos. Wow, who is this amazing YouTuber? You can sit down and read a book or you can watch a movie, scroll through every TV show possible on Netflix, like I do. Some movies that I recommend watching while you are sick, or any time in general really, is Adventures in Babysitting, Monsters Inc., and Top Gun. Those are just a few of my own favorites, and really the list could keep going on and on for hours, but 
but that's for another time. Or even make someone go buy you a coloring book and just do some coloring. But it's important that you take some time just to sit and relax and don't forget those extra two or three hours of sleep. So that's all the tips that I have today on how to survive being sick. If you did enjoy this video or can relate to anything that I said, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about anything that you do whenever you're sick because honestly, I need help. I'm standing here making a video and I probably should be asleep over there. Alright, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!